top? Hey, Captain. Next time we're in Byzantium, there's something I've been meaning to do. I haven't actually talked to my folks in a while. Shocking, right? Anyway, it's probably about time I paid them a visit. Given the dangerous life I lead, they've got to be worried sick. Which brings us to where we are today, several messages and a few years late. See, I'm originally from Byzantium, born and raised. I know that probably comes as a big surprise. This is why I have to see them. They'll hardly recognize me. Reconnect is a strong word. And uh, I was thinking you'd come too. Great. And when we get there, draw out your rough edges a bit. If you've got an outfit you haven't washed in a while, maybe one with some blood stains, wear that one. Oh, and help yourself to the good snacks and put your feet on the coffee table. Mother hates that. Just know that I've got plenty more suggestions if you need them. Anything else? What did I tell you? His down with the man shtick was just an act. No one who yammers that much means half of it. Obviously not. And better for Felix to know that now, rather than become the next Trask. Don't get all mushy on me now. Come on, what did we just learn? People look out for their own interests. It's a fundamental law of nature, same as gravity and conservation of motion. Sure I can. In fact, I bet you I live a lot longer. I'm warning you, that reverse psychology stuff doesn't work on me. Sure do. And unlike you, Captain, the rest of us don't get a big fancy room with wall-to-wall -wall windows. But let's forget about that, please. Anyway, you really want to tell me you're helping the scientist because you think he'll save the colony? <sighs> and here I thought I'd seen it all. This galaxy must be bigger than I'd thought. Enough about Harlow, though. Anything else? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Uh-huh. Sure. Everybody's got an angle. I'm just wondering what yours is. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head, and they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Don't think of it as being a lackey. Think of it as doing a job and getting paid really, really well. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. Hey, don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? If there's one thing you could say about Lucky Montoya, he was always at the center of a story. Guess this is fitting. Sure, like Ada said, he was a big name among freelancers. I met him at Lost Hope once. He was buying rounds for everyone and telling a story about one of his jobs. Pretty sure half of it was made up.
You ever get the feeling someone's just trying too hard? There was just something about Montoya I couldn't quite trust. He was always at the center of a room and he slapped a lot of backs to stay there. Yeah. I'm trying to say that if he screwed this job up, that's on him. I still like our odds. He may have had a rep, but you're more capable than he ever was. Well, just remember that when we get paid. What's on your mind? From his arm? The decay makes it hard to tell. Could be a lot of things. Torn off by something with big teeth, torn off by something with big claws, torn off by someone with a moderately sharp blade. Or maybe he just got too close to heavy machinery. Sure. Something on your mind? It's like one of those stuffy art gallery pieces. Looks okay from far off, but once you get close, you realize it's just some mismatched shit everyone's agreed to overpay for. Even the bribes are overpriced. Don't trust anyone, don't touch anything, and whatever you do, don't show your teeth when you smile. People are extremely competitive about cosmetic dentistry. It can get ugly. Interesting like a colonoscopy. I trained as a surgeon. More my folks idea than mine, but I made the best of it. Lots of them, unfortunately. I even sculpted a few. Turns out Byzantines are more concerned with having square shoulders and a good profile than, well, anything else. The real question is why didn't I leave sooner? There's all these invisible rules and everyone spends all their energy just trying not to break them. I was a top tier surgeon, but I could hardly open a pack of gauze without 10 people signing off first. Now you see why I left. People call Byzantium the jewel of Halcyon, but really it's just paste. Everything's polished and bureaucracy. Take a close look and you'll see it's deader than anywhere else in the colony. That's what I've been saying. June Leia like a casserole, right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. They're cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Yeah? I mean, what do you need? Captain, ma'am, lady. It's a shame about what happened to that lucky fella. Maybe finishing what he started will help put his spirit to rest. Not a word. And I've been sticking my nose in every one of our stately ladies' crannies, stem to stern. Oh, law, that sounds untoward, don't it? Uh, that ain't, uh, that ain't what I meant. Point is, Captain, Mr. Hawthorne left all kinds of scribblings behind panels and under consoles, but ain't a lick of it mentioned Mr. Lucky. So whatever they got up to in the past must have been really extra secret. And lots of fun. Sure thing, Captain. It sure is lonely out here on the edge of the colony. Anything could happen, and ain't no one gonna come to help us. Alrighty. You change your mind, you just holler. Yeah? I mean, what do you need? Captain? Ma'am? Lady?